I think everybody uh, who smokes a pipe, pretty much everybody that I've ever talked to, they start with aromatics. And the problem with most aromatics any pipe smoker will tell you is they smell great in the tin, they might have a great room note, but then when you light them up and puff them, not so much. Um, there are brilliant exceptions I can think of. Uh, Cherry Bomb from CAO is an example. Uh, its cousin, <coughs> also Danish, uh, from Drew Estates, uh, Heirloom Cherry Jam is another. Uh, I think that uh, Moon Trance, Eileen's Dream, and some of the other CAOs, they really do have a taste to them, and they're delicious. This one, however, is from, and I quote, Master Blender, end quote, Russ Willett. Uh, I believe it's the H&H &H brand, Hearth and Home. I got this at Pipes and Cigars, and it's called Snowdrift. It was January's uh, Tobacco of the Month for their Tobacco of the Month Club. And um, it smells like hot cocoa. <laughs> it smells like hot chocolate. Swiss Miss Instant Cocoa with Mini Marshmallows. Um, it's delicious. I have to tell you about this. So I'm in the kitchen, which is where I usually smoke my pipes because I've got a vent hood in there when it's cold outside. So I don't put a lot of smoke into the house. I smoke under the vent hood in my kitchen. Well, I didn't have the vent on, but I was still smoking in the kitchen. And my wife came home from work and she said, Ooh, hot chocolate. Make me one, will you? And I said, I'm not drinking hot chocolate. She said, Yes, you are. Don't tease me. Make me some hot chocolate. It smells delicious. And I said, You're smelling my pipe tobacco. And she didn't believe it until I proved to her that it was the pipe. It does. It smells. It fills the room. You've got chocolate dripping off the walls with this tub. It's delicious. It's fudgerific. The tobacco is okay. Not a lot of nicotine. It does require or it benefits from a little drying if you want to keep it burning. Now, I'm using a Meerschaum for this, my pretty lady here. And it's a very small bowl, which I like for aromatics. Uh, I've discovered that fairly quickly. It does get juicy. Um, almost right away, I'm starting to get some moisture from it. You can hear the little bit of burble in the pipe, maybe. And typical of my curse, I'm going to need to relight this because I let it sit too long. See, that's my curse. I am cursed, guys. My curse is this. I can smoke 15 bowlfuls and have no problems. Have Nirvana bowls. One light, it's good to go. No problem. Turn on the camera to do a YouTube video, pipe goes out. Damn. Ah. There we go. Fire bad. There is, there is nothing wrong with this at all. If you want to introduce a friend to pipe smoking and they like sweet stuff, they're really going to like this. Uh, on the squinty scale, I won't even rate it because I'm really not an expert in at all. I mean, I have a lot more snuff taking experience than I do pipe smoking. This is a fairly new deal for me, so I am not qualified. I can tell you I like it. Um, every once in a while, it's really nice to have a little sweet treat, and I generally, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry about that, um, <coughs> I've discovered as I continue my pipe odyssey here that I really, really like Englishes, and I really like good Virginias. Um, I had some Escudo Navy Deluxe, I think it's fantastic, some Seattle uh, Pipe Club's Mississippi River, marvelous. McClellan's Jubilee, marvelous. And so I've kind of abandoned aromatics already, but every once in a while, it's so good. And also, if you want to get your wife or your partner to let you smoke in the house, this is the tobacco you blaze up, because I can't think of a single person in the world who would not enjoy this scent. It really does. When you smoke it, <clears throat> anybody that walks into your house, will think you're baking a chocolate cake or making hot chocolate. I love the hype. I love the advertising copy that was used for this. It would be the perfect tobacco for staring out the window at falling snow 
And that sounds like a lot of hyperbole and a lot of hype, but in fact, it would be. I could see myself cuddling up with a hot cup of coffee in one hand and this tobacco in a pipe in the other and watching the snow falling. And nothing wrong with it. <clears throat> uh, the flavor persists nicely through the entire bowl, as does the aroma. It does get a little wet, which makes me think I should hunt for a pipe cleaner here real quick and try to swab this out a little bit while we talk. Uh, typical of aromatics, it, it can get a little wet uh, as you smoke it. And also, this does leave a little crud, a little goop in the bottom of the bowl. And I'm not surprised. This stuff has got to be one of the most heavily cased tobaccos, heavily dressed, heavily topped tobaccos that I've smoked in my short experience. Um, too much of it, huh? But of course it went out again. What's a boy going to do? Relight, of course. Uh, generally speaking, um, again, you want to impress somebody at how good pipe smoking can smell. This is the one that might turn the tables for you, uh, get you some yardage with the misses or whatever. My wife never complains when I smoke this. And normally I am not permitted to smoke down here in the dank basement in front of the computer. But this one, she doesn't have a problem with at all. And I think most people would not have a problem with this. Again, the room note is gorgeous. The aroma in the bag is gorgeous. I bought it bulk. Uh, the flavor when you smoke it is marvelous. You do get the sweetness. You do get the chocolate. You even get a little hint of marshmallow in there. It is a cup of hot chocolate in tobacco form. And I like it very much. So I'm going to light it up again. Again. You guys, one of these days, I'm absolutely going to set my face on fire. You know that, right? Kissy, kissy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is very nice in a meerschaum, too, you guys. It's like really nice in a meerschaum. I've also smoked this in cobs. It's equally good. Um, I'm picking the meerschaum tonight because I'm, of course, working on the patina on the pipe. I'm trying to get it to patina up. So I picked this over a cob. Um, although I think it burns better in the cobs. I, I've smoked it in. Will I use this every day? Probably not. But when I want something really sweet and delicious and yummy and something to impress the wife, this is a good one. Uh, this is Russ Willett's H&H. Uh, &H. I think it is a hearth and home. It is called Snow Drift. It is delicious. It's about two and a quarter an ounce if you buy four ounces, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So in other words, I got a four ounce bag of it for nine bucks, uh, which is a little pricey, but not too bad uh, for a bulk tobacco, especially one this delicious. Leaves a little goop in the bottom of the bowl, gets a little wet when you smoke it. These are things you can put up with because everything else about it is perfect. Uh, if you're looking for nicotine, don't look here. This is not a 1792 flake. This is just real gentle, pleasant. You could smoke this a lot. And not all day maybe, but you could smoke it a lot. Uh, nobody will complain. You will be happy. Your friends will be happy. Your pipe will be happy. And in the end, the world will be a happier place just because you have smoked bowl after bowl of Russ Willett's Snowdrift. So good. From the Dank Basement, I am Paul, also known as your Uncle Squinty. Thank you for watching, as always. I appreciate your time.